Chef Doreen Fong here. Today I'm going to make an easy recipe for Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, it is a simple thing. It's almost like hamburger steak. Ground beef. I've used all these ingredients that you should have in your own kitchen. Worcestershire sauce, uh, ketchup, granulated garlic, with the onions and the sauce, it's gonna be so delicious. And just the gravy on top, you're gonna to love it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground beef into the bowl. I'm gonna add my granulated garlic, my beef base, my salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stir that up. I'm gonna add my Worcestershire sauce, as well as my ketchup. Get that all stirred up, nice and combined. Then I'm gonna add in my egg, which I've already beaten and add some salt. And then lastly, I'm gonna combine the breadcrumbs right inside. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that right up. And then I'm going to make sure that I divide this into four equal parts. You can either weigh it out or just eyeball it, which is fine as well. And you're gonna form some oval patties. Once I've formed the patties, I'm now gonna get my pan. I'm just gonna get like a medium to large size saute pan, put some oil in it, heat that up nice and hot. I'm gonna sear off each of the patties, put them all in the same pan. I'm gonna sear it off for two to three minutes on each side so it's slightly browned, okay? Once I've cooked that off, so it's about six minutes since I've already been cooking it, I'm gonna pull it back out, set it aside, and I'm now gonna add my onions into the pan. So it's gonna cook in all those wonderful juices from the, the patties. Once that's sauteed for a little bit and I've softened it a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add more Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and my beef broth. I'm gonna cook that and let it simmer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my, um, my cornstarch in there. I'm gonna let it thicken some more. Then I'm gonna add my heavy cream and finish it off with my butter. Once my sauce has thickened somewhat, I'm now gonna add my patties back into the pan. And I'm just gonna let it cook and I'm gonna cover it and I'm just gonna let it cook in that wonderful gravy and that sauce. It's gonna be so delicious. Maybe a couple minutes in, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. Still gonna be cooking in that wonderful sauce. Check it for doneness. So it's about four minutes have already passed. Check it for doneness. Make sure it's cooked to the way you like it. Well, you know, just make sure it's cooked all the way through. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull it out and you're gonna serve that. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and serve that on mashed potatoes. But you can serve it on mashed potatoes or rice or any type of carbs that you like. Mm -hmm.